Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to go over an example of how to graph a piecewise function. In this example, I have two parts. f of x is equal to 9 minus x squared when x is less than or equal to 2. And is equal to x plus 1 when x is greater than or equal to 2. For problems like these, I always like to visualize what do these graphs look like on their own. So if I just do a real quick sketch, and I'm also going to change this top first equation to something more familiar. I'm going to say negative x squared, or minus x squared, or opposite x squared, plus 9. Just so something I'm more familiar with. From that, I can tell that this graph would look would be reflected over the x-axis from the negative x squared and moves up nine spaces as a vertical shift. So it looks look something like this. The second graph, x plus one, it may help to think of it as y equals x plus one. Same thing as f of x, but y usually communicates. Reminds me that this is in slope-intercept form which means my slope, the coefficient of x, is a positive 1. My y-intercept, also a positive 1, so right about here is where it's, is my y-intercept. Rise over run is 1 over 1, so it's, and it's positive, so it's a gradual incline, something like so. So here's what the two graphs look like on their own. And of course, this, is gonna be a, this graph will be a merger of the, of the two. So to find where one graph ends and one graph begins, I'm going to take these values that are given to me for the restricted domains. I want to put them into each of the each part of the function, and that would tell me where that particular graph begins or ends. So in the first one, I want to put two in four x. So we'll have opposite of two squared plus nine gives me negative 4 plus 9. Remember it's not positive 4 because order of operations, I square 2 first, then I add the negative. So this becomes a 5. So this corresponds to the point 2, 5. What this means, since as we go from left to right, the graph of negative x squared plus 9 ends at the point 2, 5. My second graph, putting in 2 plus 1, gives me 3, which implies my new graph of y equals x, x plus 1 begins at the point 2, 3. And since for my first graph it's less than or equal to, it will get a closed circle on the graph. For my second one, it's just greater than but not equal to, it will get an open circle. Here's my sketch. I'll plot my points 2, 5, 2 over 5 up. It's right about here. And we said that's a closed circle. 2, 3 is where be the next graph begins, a little below it. And there's my open circle. Now, looking back at my graph of the original x, negative x squared plus 9, you can see how it curves, opens down. And since it moved 9 up, Since this graph normally would intersect at 9, way up here, and this is 5, the graph will go up through 9 and down to 5 here. And let me... Make that with a black mark go. So there's the first part of my graph. Opens down, ends at the point 2, 5. My new graph, starting at 2, 3, is a straight line, which is, we said had a slope of 1, or 1 over 1. So 1 to the right, 1 up, and my graph looks like this. 
and this would be my final answer. So this is the graph of the piecewise function. 9 minus x squared from x is less than 2, less than or equal to 2, and x plus 1 when x is greater than 2.